What's up gamers, Sixpenny here and I'm back with another PGA Tour 2K21 course showcase video, a special one coming to you today. A brand new course from one of my favorite designers in the game, Baby Bull Dripstone Falls. I This course is fantastic. Went through, did the flyover, one of the prettiest courses I have ever seen and it's just this really cool fictional world, fictional island. I mean, I am blown away. This, this course just wowed me in every sense of the word wow like it is just incredible but get out there play this course leave a good review for the designer and show some love to the designer in a comment down below let me know what you shoot on this course i like to keep track of the best scores on the channel i did take the course showcases last week and won each of them at least from the people that commented so let's see if somebody can take me down this week at dripstone falls maybe baby bull himself can take me down in this in in their own course right but this is so much fun it's going to be a blast drop a like if you want to continue to see more and you get some enjoyment out of it and subscribe for more pga tour 2k21 content and new gaming content every single day on the gamer booty youtube channel and click that notification bell because only 10 percent of you had that notification bell click let's raise that to like 90 percent we can do it gamers but get out there and check out baby bull's other courses they're incredible you can follow them on twitter baby bull designs and you can check his updated course list it's the pin tweet at the very top and one of my favorite courses in the game is his other one called Illinata. you can check that out as well i have a course showcase it on it in the playlist in the description but let's dive into this course this course design community is amazing to baby bull and all you other amazing designers out there as i always say thank you so much for your, all your hard work you all are all legends i appreciate each and every one of you but let's start as always with a little flyover look though at the first tee baby bull does such a good job on all of the courses on making a memorable first tee but look what we have like when i first opened into this i'm like well what do we see look at this thing so let's first fly up so you can see the plot of land. But that tree house in the middle is some of the coolest thing I've ever seen. So you can see it's very fictional environment. You can walk this course. I did test that out. You can actually walk the entire Turk course. Uh, so I did check that out because I know some people are like, can you walk the whole course? And there, there's bridges. You can actually walk the whole course. I did. That was a question I had. And you can actually. But I want to show you there's two floating waterfalls here. This is one of the coolest things I have ever seen in the designer. Like this is, this is how? This is incredible. And Baby Bull, as always, loves to put the wildlife out there for, you know, for me, puts in the squirrels. But look, we have a cow up there on this waterfall. You love that. I mean, that is one of the coolest things I've seen. And then we come here. This blew me away. Have you all ever seen anything like this? Do you, do you, those of you that have not been in the designer, you have to place all this stuff. This stuff doesn't just magically appear. I mean, you have the fountains uh, there. You have fountains, the stairs perfectly placed all the way up leading up. Like it actually, you can follow it all the way up to the top floor here. Does anybody want to live here on this golf paradise? Uh, I, I do. And look, a lawnmower at the top. I really wouldn't want to drive that lawnmower down there. I'm <laughs> What in the world? Oh, and then we have over here one of my favorite parts of the course. We have the this other waterfall section. And this course does go down in history so far as having the best squirrel placement of all time. It does get the squirrel stamp of approval. I'll show you that right after we show you this waterfall. Just look. I mean, how do you make a floating waterfall in the first place? But uh, leave it to Baby Bowl to do the impossible. I mean, an Illinata was just a breathtaking course, and this one is, I mean, all of them have been. The Bull Kraken, I mean, every, th these courses are amazing. And then we go here, we're about to see the squirrel. We're going to fly over there, hole number 12 here, over the water. Just moment of silence here as we get to the best part of the course. And there it is! The we have a squirrel, the lonely squirrel, hanging out here. The squirrel stamp of approval. I love this squirrel place. Honestly, I think it's my favorite squirrel placement of all time. Because, I mean, it's just sitting out there on the rock. You can see it on the turn as well from back. I mean, it's hard because it's so far away. And it's just sitting at a perfect place on the course. Very well done, Baby Bull. This course is fantastic. We start off with a par 4 here. It's a, it's a very short course, but it's one of my favorite courses. And I know what some of you are thinking. Gamer... 
What do you mean it's one of your favorite courses? There's water everywhere. Isn't that your nightmare? And the answer is yes, that is my nightmare. But, <laughs> uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> I see you're thinking there, but I still, it's still a, nice. such a beautiful course. Maybe Second the water, here, maybe we won't hit first. the water once, right? We can only hope. We're going to just splash this one up there. But wow, that flyover and the floating waterfalls, that treehouse that we can see right there in the background. This course is fantastic. A fictional world of, got a like, I wonder what this is based off of. And, you know, if Baby, Balls, Baby Bull comes across this video, thank you so much for your hard work in creating these incredible courses. And if, and what if you can let us know, what was this based off of? Did it just come to this? How do you come up with something like this would be my question. You know, we missed the birdie. But that, that's okay, at least we didn't hit it in the water. But how do you come up with stuff like this, gamers? Is this even possible? So we move into a par 3, 158 yards. Honestly, you have a beautiful view every single time on this course. I know I say beautiful a whole lot in these course showcases, but that's because you all create beautiful stuff. I can't help it. <laughs> guess I can mix it up, say gorgeous, say pretty. I mean, you know, we can change it up, but it, beautiful really captures it. I'm still looking for a course showcase ace. That's a solid shot there. So for those that are warning, I am, I forgot to say this in the beginning. I am playing really on all default well course settings and there. playing from the back tees, Here pin location go, number one. So if you want to mimic the same round settings, I always play the course on the default settings first time. This one's on a good line. Let's go, gamers. A birdie. birdie on hole number two takes us to one under par. We can see that beautiful tree house in the background. Okay, Honestly, can we just move here? Uh, baby boy, any way okay. you can create Light this in real life? <laughs> just look at this view. I mean, imagine the photo shoots you could have out here during your golf round. So I know that's why everybody plays golf, right? For the photo shoots. No, not, but I mean... Really, when you go to courses like this, I would take a thousand photos. Good job. Setting up here. Getting some coffee in my system. Let's see, 142. We have a nice little backboard here. And just the intent, the planting all the way around, the rock work. It's just, the attention to the detail was just really solid. And I believe this is a competition course. This is that, promising. does anybody know that? Uh, is this a comp, is this a dream team course? Because it looks like a dream course right i i kind of thought i was dreaming in a world of fantasy land golf when i played this when i just did my flyover out and it turns out this is actually a real course in a video game <laughs> these, i'm telling you these yeah, course designers it's... spoil us us golfers you know i don't design i just golf and you all spoil us to and bring these things to life it's the design community that takes this game to the next level and i appreciate you all a now good golf we ended up with the par at one under Careful out but there. a great Let's golf hole. We're just going to full send this. We have a little grass rough bunker is what I would call that. Oh, a little rough man. bunker in the you fairway. If you aim it. right at it, you're probably not going to hit it, right? I mean, just water everywhere. This course is so cool. Yeah, I'm not sure how you get to this course, but I imagine it's like a fantasy land. Yeah, you just teleport there, right? Here. Looks like something you teleport or take a helicopter or maybe, I don't know. Aqua, maybe this uh, Aquaman takes you here or something. <laughs> this looks, I could do driver off the deck, but it seems like, like a trap. I feel like if we hit a driver off the deck, we are 100% hitting it into that water. Yeah, oh yeah. We didn't need it. That three wood went very nicely. We're going to have a very chip inable. You can see the waterfall in the background there. Shot. You can get a glimpse of that floating waterfall. A very flat green. I'm going to do a little bit of stopping action. This is very chip inable. Well, I, I miscalculated. I miscalculated and I hit a slow. Sink this and you're down to two under. Sink this to be down for two under. Let's do this. Going towards that hole. And we hit it. Let's go, That'll gamers. A good start the to the birdie. round. Could be better, but it could be worse, too, because of water being everywhere. You know, Stopping my goal is to get through the round without hitting it in the water. Oh, look at this. My favorite type of hole in golf. But not only that, look at the view of the waterfall in the background and the tree, the epic treehouse resort, whatever you call that. I mean, that's just, wow. How do you do this? How, do, how does Baby Bull do this? How do any of you all do this? You, you, you just blow me away. 
and i do a lot of course showcases here i have a lot of pga content on the channel so be sure to check out the channel page each day for new videos okay, uh, did a stand. fun Hopefully some great court, course course showcases here. last week and the week before played great in true sim last week getting my right, first ever top to 10 finish here, in true sim you can check out those sand. videos on the channel page i mean it's just some of the best golf i've played hopefully we can continue the it this week another birdie perhaps. A little birdie train coming here. After that whole Baby Bull, thanks for sending that birdie train top. my way. All right, let's this see is, okay, this is my hole. type of hole. One of the most aceable holes that I've played in weeks. We have a little funnel. We have a backboard. I'm still looking for my first course showcase ace. Whatever course showcase course I can actually ace on a showcase video or live stream is probably going to go down as my favorite course of all time. Is it going to be Dripstone Falls? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. No gamers. Oh, come on. Just a little. Game. Did you all see you I put a touch of backspin sometimes. on it? You know what? I'm gonna wow. To I know people that a touch of like backspin took it from being a hole in one. That was That's a perfect there. line. That's that was in. Day. Can we complain about a birdie? No. You never complain around. about tap-in birdies, but yeah, gamers, like that's one I would right almost complain about, but we're not going hole. to. <laughs> I almost aced it. I, honestly, I was I, my feet were planted. My I scooted my chair back. I was ready to leap off my... Oh, look at this. Huh. Uh, oh, baby bull, was that intended? Because... I hope we're the first one that we oh, first one you. to actually hit that shot. Okay, here's our <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was so hole. cool. I don't know if that was placed there like for just looks or actually with the intention of maybe somebody doing that because that is sweet. A little flop shot up. Okay, we're, we came to play. We came to play. You know, the last time, if you all remember, at Illinata, I had one of my best rounds of all time in PGA 2K21. That short showcase is still out there if you want to see it. But I believe that's still my best round of all time in PGA 2K21, I believe, at Illinata. Or maybe it was just the back nine. I can't remember. I know we crushed it. Just, I mean, this, these views are breathtaking. You have that waterfall on the left side of the screen there. This would be a tough course to walk, though. I mean, because you have to make sure you don't fall off any bridges. Because <laughs> the railing is a little low. When I was one. trying to attempt to walk the okay, course before I played my round, I was like, these, so these uh, railings are a little bit this is a little bit scary out here. So I'm going to go 70. We have a little backboard. I'm going to use that backboard and slope it on in. I'm going to try to get a little fancy here. Oh, we can get a kick lap. That'd be nice. We don't need to get fancy, actually. Yeah, we didn't need to get fancy. That was actually some really good distance. Nice shot. That'll, that'll a do. little bit right to left. All Not right, a lot of movement here. We have the waterfall Snap at the right the side of the screen there. Oh, so close. It just broke a okay, little too much up. at the end. We're still playing a great round. That's right, five under through par. eight. But I on. bet some people are going to shoot like... I don't think I'm going to win this week. I bet somebody's going to beat me. Five under for the moment. Oh, and Scoot has already played this. I want to say Scoot shot like eight under. I think Scoot said the score to beat was eight under par in Discord. I think we, I think Scoot shot eight under. I could be wrong. Maybe Scoot shot ten under. I did, Scoot, you may have to remind me in a comment. The legend, Scoot. Who right, brings a lot, you know, I miss out on a lot of courses, but Sco Scoot always does a good here. job at bringing the, uh, reminding me of the courses, sending me the great courses to play. I, you know, I, there's so many amazing courses out there, and I know I can't showcase them all, but I try to showcase as many as I can here on YouTube, but also a lot on Twitch. I showcase a lot over on Twitch. Taking driver off the turf. Ooh, and a lot of those are because, you know, I see them, the new courses on TGCTours.com. Or Scoot sends my way, or somebody asks me on Twitter, or I just see the designer on Twitter post it, which is how I figured out about, you know, I, I knew this course was coming because I saw a lot of screenshots leading up to it. And Baby Bull had already uh, shared the uh, squirrel placement. And I was like, oh, this course can't release soon enough. It does. This course goes down to history as the greatest squirrel placement of all time so far. Can you all beat it, designers? As we nice chip that chip in, in, let's go. That was, Six that was under on point. the front. Right, I mean, this course is fantastic. Baby Bull, what? I mean, 
Oh my goodness. And there is a goat back there. I don't know if you all saw it. Let's see if I can... Um, I'll fly around this next hole just so you can see the goat in case you saw it there. Six under for the round. And here we have a lovely... Yeah, so a beautiful view here. One of my favorite views on the course. But it's still this area right here, which is my favorite part of the course right here. And the treehouse. And of course the squirrel. But I didn't show this earlier. There's a goat here. Look how cool this is. Look at the goat just kind of hanging out with the pretty flowers around it. Like that, that that would be a good screenshot too, like right here. That'd be a really good screenshot right there. Or take a picture with the goat, you know? See if we can just smack this. Can we get it all the way there? That's a good question. I'm going to try. I'm hoping that hole number 12, the hole with the squirrel on it, is going to be our hole. Because I feel like Baby Bull made that hole for me. And I feel honored when you designers put a squirrel on the course for me. That means a lot. And I'm going to try to perform on those golf holes. I'm going to do full backspin and loft on this one. And hit this flop. Because we want it to stop and maybe roll back. That 103, I was not trying to do that. A little bit right to left. Not a lot of movement. There we go. Our last view of the waterfall there to the right on the screen. Beautiful. Back to back birds. I need some more coffee here. And gamers, if you did Sitting not check out Baby Bull's last round. course, Bull Kraken right Island was a collab project. Hole. And that course is fantastic. It, it is a par three, a fictional par three course in a amazing like there's a there's actually a kraken out there on the course. Let's see if we can Great send swing. it. Slowed it. I did I showcased that one on Twitch on a live stream. It's just a beautiful course. Is it going to roll down there? So we're not going to get the ace there. It's The ace is going to come sometime. Nothing wrong with that. Safely on the green. Safely on the All green. Right, let's let's get just... A and get out of here. What do you this say? Is, did you see how far downhill this oh, putt this is? Could drop. Oh, oh, I thought it was straight in. Tough. I thought it was straight in. Got and robbed on that one. Go. Looking good. We'll take it, though. Awesome. We'll take That's it. No, we get another we'll view of the fountain it. right there. The fountain. The waterfall. It's kind okay, of... It's so like a fountain, right? So here we go. The, the squirrel the hole. Here, yeah, look at the squirrel. What four. about if we... Ate, uh, I was going to say... Yeah. We're sh for you, squirrel. We're going over the squirrel. This is for you. We're going... We're flying right over it. Even if we miss the fairway. My favorite hole in the course. I mean, just... From the bridge, the bunker work, just the elevation changes, the treehouse in the background, the waterfall. Can't you get any more picture perfect than this? I don't think so. Oh my, you fucked this Well, one. Squirrel, we didn't fly over you. <laughs> we kind of did. That was close, right? Yeah, just so we can say hello to the squirrel here, right? Uh, we're in the, right, we're in we're the in sand. The uh, so let's, let's say... Let's say hello and bye to the squirrel one last time we get a good view right over there you love to see it what a great squirrel placement here just checking out the waterfall i mean baby bull what a legend what a legend gamers let you know if you all find you know what's your favorite squirrel placement so far in my course showcase videos like there's been some great ones there's been some great ones but i feel like that one takes it i really do i feel like that might be the best one so far that was great work out of that. Uh, let's see if I can hit this. this I'm going to hit the eight like with it. a little bit of D loft and spin. Come on. Come on. I needed a touch more. Yeah, I don't think it was going to drop nice because of my chip. right push. The patented oh, Ryan nice Gamer tap. right push is still there. Six holes remaining on the beautiful Dripstone Falls. Seven under for the round. Careful Another one of my favorite holes right on the course. I just, I, the view. I mean, the waterfall, the treehouse. We're going to send this. I'm going to hit the 188, take some off of it, and we're acing this. A little bit of backspin. Great contact. So we were so close earlier. Be the one. Be the one. Come on. I didn't need backspin again. Just miscalculating these backspins, but hey, we're hitting some good golf oh, yeah. shots. <laughs> we can't complain when we have a good Setting look at birdie. You talk about a push. There's that patented push. You talk about it, it's going to ramp up. <laughs> Ooh, that was, that was an ugly push right there, but we'll send it in for par. 
We're not going to complain about a par. You know, one thing, imagine True Silm on this course. Imagine True Silm because distances, you would, I feel like I would hit it in the water five times with that on True Silm. Come on now, give us but nice also, I've not hit line. the water yet. I hope that's not a sign of water to come, but I've not hit it in the water yet. But we're going for this one. I'm going to do driver off the deck, a little bit of loft. Taking driver off the fairway, are you? Ooh, that, that uphill lie really help, helped me get some more loft there. Stay in the fairway. Ah, that's unfortunate. In the heavy stuff, but Ryan Third Gamer was shot. born in the rough. So, I mean, he's used to this. We're going to go up to the 20 and hit full loft, or not loft. We're going to go up to the 20s, the, the sand wedge, full backspin. That hit really soft. I'm fairways are soft on this course, so it's it's soft fairways, firm greens, fast green speeds. I pushed it, I pushed it, but it still went in. The game gave that to me. We got a little course designer row there. So we have a par four, three, four, and if we finish with the par five, this is. I wonder what the signature hole is on this course. I feel like all of them, right? I mean, honestly, if I had to pick a signature hole, I'd probably pick the squirrel hole. But also, I'd probably have to close my eyes, put it, put all the holes in a hat, and draw one out to actually choose one. <laughs> oh, 278. Uh, we have a nice little fairway lie. So we flew 278, 180 to the pin, and fairway lie. I, said, I meant a nice bunker lie. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to full send this one. I don't think we need to go up a club. This is a really good lie. I stand corrected, just not enough snap on that one. I thought the, well, you I don't know, I, I just, I just thought the 88 bunker. would go a little bit too far. You live oh, and you learn. <laughs> Look at that the view bird. of the treehouse right there. I would, you would have, like, there's no way I would climb up there, right? Yeah. There's no way I would climb up there, and there's no way I would drive that lawnmower point. down, right? That poor greenskeeper. Could you imagine being the greenskeeper of this course? <laughs> Baby boy, I hope you pay your greenskeeper a whole lot of money. <laughs> Living up there in that treehouse, driving that, <laughs> driving the green mower down. Oh, could you imagine, gamers? Here we go. I think this is our last chance for a course showcase ace. Let's focus up and send it in. Really nice swing. Oh, come on. Come on. We were all over it. We were playing these par threes here at Dripstone Falls. We've been playing really well, but honestly, the one earlier should have been an ace. Just, just too much backspin earlier. We'll take our birdie though. Nine under through 16 with two hoes remaining. We have a par four and a par five. We move to the signature hole, which is probably the 18th hole now that I think about it. That was the one that really stuck out to me. But I love that Baby Bull put a whole lot of drivable par 4s out there. Scorable par 3s. Scorable par 5s. This is my type of course. Like, this is a course I'm going to come back to often. I'm going to come here, play, and just have a blast, right? A relaxing night of just scoring golf. That's that's the dream, right? Dripstone Falls is, is the dream. It has to be a dream team course. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's like just a, a gift from Baby Bull, but I feel like this that is a would drops on work really well in the dream team competition. Birdie. That is back to back birdies here. Ten under. Ten now under I can't remember what Scoot shot. I want to say Scoot shot eight under or ten under. So if he shot ten, we can we beat it. But this is my favorite view on the course. I mean, when we look at kind of this shot right here. Like, this would be a breathtaking picture location with that waterfall in the background. It's just a fantastic view. We're just going to send that. I actually just took a screenshot myself there as if I was there in real life. <laughs> it's the, I mean, this is, this is just... I, I'm blown away. Like, this course has wowed me. It's left me, like, scratching my head on what's possible in this designer. Like, it's just... It's crazy. It's it's crazy stuff. It's amazing stuff. And we're gonna send this 215 up towards the green. But gamers, get out there and play this. Show your support in the game. 
drop a like appreciate you all this the, i mean baby bull is amazing every single course that baby bull's cr bull creates is just it it There's wows you right it's just for you. he has that wowing ability this is an eagle so let's pot. see if we can uh, eagle this one a little eagle here in the 18th to finish left to right then right to left Oh, it could be. Let's go, gamers. We finished with an eagle on 18. 12 under par. I believe right now that score is leading the channel. At, at least at the time that I'm filming this. But is somebody going to beat it? Who out there is going to play and beat the score? I'm playing on the TGC Tours difficulty settings all default. But baby bull, thank you so much for your hard work in creating this fantastic course honestly this course may go down in history as one of my as my favorite course of all time it's up there with chaying mall and it's 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 way up there like it, it's at the top it has the best squirrel placement of all time so far so you take that it gets the squirrel stamp of approval so instead of only being five out of five this is like a 25 star this is like infinity stars infinity stars with that squirrel placement fantastic gamers get out there and play it leave a five star review i'm gonna favorite it i'm gonna rate it five star but really you all know infinite stars 69 percent fairways 88 percent gers 59 total scorecard here we had a six under on the front a six under on the back with a birdie birdie eagle finish there came out clutch there hopefully to take the win for the community but challenge it gamers go out there and beat it Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. And thank you, Baby Bull. And to all you other designers out there, thank you for all your hard work. You all are all legends. I love showcasing your all's hard work. Thank you. Thank you. Can't say it enough. I will see you on the next one. Drop a like if you got some enjoyment. And subscribe. Click that notification bell and stay tuned every single day for new gaming content. You can check out all my course showcase videos by checking the playlist in the description. As always, gamers, have a fantastic day.